General Hospital spoilers reveals that Ava senses potential danger. It seemed that Ava's continued stay in Windermere was of no use to her at all. She was convinced that Nicholas was dead, and it still haunted her. Ava often dreams of Nicholas returning to take revenge on her, so Ava's spirit is very panicked. Ava decides to put Windermere up for sale. This is the property that Nicholas compensated Ava after the two divorced. In addition to selling Windermere, Ava wants to leave Port Charles soon. Now Port Charles is a very claustrophobic place for Ava. All the trouble kept happening, so Ava wanted to go somewhere else. Ava thinks that she will have a large amount of money after selling the castle and be able to rebuild her life. Is everything as simple as that? Right after Ava put Windermere for sale, someone wanted to buy back this mansion for a large amount of money. This made Ava feel quite surprised. The amount this money pa person paid exceeded the amount Ava intended to sell it for, so she couldn't help but be suspicious. Those of Port Charles knew well that Windermere was a castle of House Cassidine, and Cassidine consists of scheming and cunning men, so of course this castle is also very mysterious and gloomy. Windermere is clearly not worth such a large sum of money, deducing the purpose of the person who wants to buy Windermere is certainly not simple. Ava felt strange why that person wanted to buy for, for such a large amount of money. Does he have any evil intentions? That mysterious person never appeared, making Ava feel even more curious. He just assigned his assistant to complete the purchase procedures. Ava got the money she wanted, and she thought she would quickly carry out her plan, but no, Ava couldn't contain her curiosity. With Ava's personality, she couldn't bear the desire to see the truth. So after completing the transaction with the mysterious person's assistant, Ava followed this assistant to find out who his boss was. If this person did not proactively deal with Ava, it would show that he did not want to reveal his identity. Just who is this person trying so hard to avoid Ava? And why use a large amount of money to buy back the Windermere Villa? Ava wants to know who this mysterious person is. She's not afraid to risk following the assistant to find out the truth. Ava will be stunned when the person who buys the Windermere Mansion is Nicholas. Ava always thought Nicholas was dead, but in fact he was still alive and had returned to Port Charles. Ava was the one who attacked Nicholas, so why is Nicholas so calm now? Ava understands Nicholas's personality very well. He is a person who has revenge, but now he is so quiet that Ava is not used to it at all. A series of questions appeared in Ava's mind. Why did Nicholas buy the Windermere Villa when he had previously transferred it to her? Why hasn't Nicholas avenged her yet? But maybe this isn't the time Ava should be wondering all those sorts of things. Ava had to quickly escape Port Charles at night in case Nicholas found her.